sounds right. like he wants to put women back into the kitchen <laughs> and turn back the clock. And that's clearly not going to happen. No. I'm arguing that everyone needs to get into the kitchen. Right. Uh, kids as well, men. The reason we stopped cooking, one of the reasons we stopped cooking is when women went into the workplace, in, beginning in the 60s and 70s, there was this very uncomfortable conversation that got started between men and women around kitchen tables across America. It was time to renegotiate the division of labor in the house. It simply wasn't realistic or fair for women to cook, clean, and do all the child care. But before we could resolve that, well, if come they up had with a, a new, job. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about women who are working. It's right, like and most do. Now 40% of the workforce, I think, is women. Right. Um, but before they could work this out between men and women, the food industry came in and said, stop arguing. We'll do it. We've got you covered. Right. And in fact, Kentucky Fried Chicken took out this incredible billboard campaign across America, big bucket of fried chicken, two-word slogan, women's liberation. So you see, they very cleverly hijacked feminist rhetoric to sell right. processed food. Um, and, you know, this let men off the hook as much as women. Um, and I think we just need to go back and finish that conversation. There's a lot of research that suggests that people who eat food that's been cooked by human beings are healthier than people who eat food. <laughs> it's, right. But a lot of food is no longer healthier than people who eat food cooked by corporations. Right. I love that. You said we're outsourcing our eating to cooperation. That's a brilliant phrase because that's really what we're doing. I never thought of it that we're outsourcing. And, and corporations, of course, don't care about our health. They care about selling more shit. Yeah. In their case, it's food. And their business model, they need to sell more and more every year because right. the population is growing Always gotta slower grow. than Wall Street needs them to grow. Uh, and food stamps, $30 a week is what you get. So we sent out his aid to see if you could live on $30 a week. And the guy said, no problem. Here's what I bought for $27.58. And here's his list of what he bought for that money, I guess, at the dollar store. Cer honeycomb cereal, three cans of red beans and rice, peanut butter, grape jelly, wheat bread, beans, more beans, spaghetti, pasta. I could go on root beer, popsicles, applesauce more beans, <laughs> bag of rice, bag of cookies, milk, sugar, oatmeal, fruit drink mix. Is not one fruit or vegetable no. on this list? Not even any protein. Any, beans. You can't afford it. What? Be, but yeah, but I, but That's I mean... That's the healthiest thing on the list. You can't afford to buy real food on a, a low income. On but they think this income. is food. Yeah. This well, guy, would, he put out this list thinking, there. <clears throat> no. I won this argument, Trump card. Look at the food I bought. This, I, I mean, would call a lot of that stuff edible food-like substances, as opposed to food. <laughs> it it shouldn't food. be dignified with that word. That, it's not food. <laughs> what do you think of the uh, AMA, obesity is a disease ruling? Well, on the plus side, it's going to allow doctors to be reimbursed <laughs> to talk about... Plus side, oh, you made a joke. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how you do it. Uh, <laughs> that's right, you stumble right into it. <laughs> I'm a guinea. Uh, so it allows doctors to be reimbursed for having this conversation, which right now they're not having because they don't get paid for it. Uh, so that's good. It's... On the bad side, it takes the focus off the food system, which is where the real disease is. It takes is. the focus off personal responsibility. And there's going to be a whole lot more diet pills and people yeah. paying for the lab. That's what it is. It's so much more. Again, always more money for corporations. It's also not no, it's the only way to really lose weight is by eating better and exercise, but there's no money in for pharmaceutical companies by doing that. Well, this is why doctors never talk about food. I mean, there's, I mean that is the conversation we need to be having. That's, but why are uh, so many more people obese now than many years ago? Because they eat this list. <laughs> well, well but, but what's, what's I the just harm? read you the list. Americans have been gaining weight for... popsicles, <laughs> fucking... Americans have been gaining weight for 30 years. I don't see the harm in designating this, this, this a disease. I mean, oh, I if only as a sort of a last-ditch effort to get people to sort of realize... But it's not I'm a just saying pretty soon we're all going to be on scooters. There's no reason for it to be a last-ditch effort. Puttering right through the people Walmart. Aren't just, like, keeling over. Um, what a lot of other things we need to do. We need yeah. to change the environment in which people eat. We need to change the subsidy system. Right now, we yes. subsidize the least healthy calories right. in the supermarket. The ones on that's that why, list that's, are mostly that's subsidized. That's why this list and is And you can there. take it.